Okay, so this video is about population change and demographic transition over time. So the subtopics here in this part of the syllabus are the, dem the demographic transition model, um, some key definitions, and population pyramids. Okay, so this is the demographic transition model, and the link at the side is where I've gotten this um, diagram from. So there are five stages of the demographic transition model, and these are kind of the key points about each of the stages. So in stage one, the birth rate and death rate is very high, and um, there is kind of a slow and stable um, natural increase. Natural increase is, of course, the difference between the death rate and the birth rate, which either makes the population go up or down. However, you must take into account that migration does impact population and is not accounted for in this model. So that's kind of like a weakness of the model. Okay, so there's a lot of disease, high birth rate. People are not aware of kind of the idea of health and disease. So yeah, okay. And then you come to stage two. And because healthcare kind of begins to improve and sanitation arises, the death rates begin to fall, but birth rates still remain high. So um, the population does start to increase at a much more rapid rate because death rates are low, birth rates are high, of course. Okay, and then you move on to stage three when birth rates do also begin to fall because of improved knowledge about kind of health and medical care and the kind of cultural norms change where less children are needed because they're not seen as kind of an economic asset as they would be in many kind of developing or less developed uh, countries. So here we see that the increase, um, the natural increase as shown by the orange line kind of becomes less steep. Okay, and then we move on to stage four where both the birth rate and the death rate are low, but the birth rate is still higher than the death rate. That's very important because the um, population is still increasing just very slowly, as you can see by the orange line in stage four. It's kind of, it's coming kind of to a plateau, but not fully. Um, and this is because of family planning, improved status of women, later marriage, etc. Okay, and then we get to stage five, which is basically said to be a stage in which the birth rates fall below the death rates so there's a natural decrease instead of a natural increase because there's more people dying than more than being born um which you know then the population would fall um again this is very typical in many um high income countries such as japan which is a good example of a very large aging population okay so this is the transition model that you should know each stage and kind of why each different stages look the way they are but also remember the criticisms such as it doesn't account for any migration immigration and immigration aren't included okay so here are some very important definitions natural increase as i mentioned the difference between birth rate and death rate normally expresses a percentage but can also be per thousand of the population um and if it's a natural decrease, of course, that means the death rate would be higher than the birth rate. But if it's increased, the birth rate's higher than the death rate. Okay, general fertility rate is the average number of births per woman. Total fertility rate is the average number of births per thousand women of childbearing age. So make sure you know the difference between those two. Um, you know, it's per woman or per thousand women. Okay, and then life expectancy is the average number of years a person is expected to live, especially from birth. Population structure is the composition of a population in terms of ethnicity, age, sex, religion, etc. Finally, dependency ratios is the ratio of the working population. So the working population are those over 15 and under 64. So that whole bracket um, to dependent populations, which are the young. So under 15 and the old or the elderly over 64. So these are very important key terms you have to know that relate to demographics and population okay and now we'll discuss population pyramids so we see here that um, it's the demographic transition which we discussed previously this is from our world in data as you can see at the top right um, you can see each population pyramid that coincides with each stage of the 
demographic transition model. So in stage one, the population pyramid is kind of has a very low elderly population and a kind of the proportion of young to old is very different. You see there's a lot of young um young populations and yes, so that's stage one. And then stage two, you see that the elderly age groups start to kind of increase but um and even the younger populations increase because of kind of less infant mortality, less disease. Okay, and then in stage three, because the death rate falls, the bottom of the pyramid becomes more narrow um, because, of course, less births, less young populations. And then stage four, you see this kind of um, beehive-shaped um, population pyramid, which has, you know, a not too much of a dependency ratio between the elderly and the young. And then finally, in stage five, you notice that the young populations actually become, are starting to become even smaller than the elderly. So it's kind of signs of an aging population.